So we're speaking with Rob McClure, who is, this is dad fire. Can you believe it? Oh. I can't. My God. You know something, actually, after seeing the earlier few numbers yeah. and seeing you in this role, it's like made in heaven. Oh, thanks. It, it was, you know, it comes with pressure because it's so beloved, right? It's so beloved. I, I, I'm as big a fan of Robin Williams and that, and that legendary performance as, any, as anyone. And I, you know, more than wanting to fulfill an impression or a voice or a, you know, I, I feel like the thing I really wanted to tap into was how it made me feel. I remember how that performance and that character made me feel. And it, there's a warmth, there's a warmth to that struggling dad who goes to such insane lengths to spend time with his kids. And in doing so, in, in inhabiting this character, learns what it is to be a parent. There really, it's, it was, it, there is such a, a um, depth to that story that people forget. People hear Mrs. Doubtfire and they go, oh, that was so funny. And then whether it be the movie or now the musical, which has really expanded the heart of this story, you're reminded that this was, it was a revolutionary story about redefining family. And it starts with the struggle that those kids are going through. And that is what makes it a great musical. That emotional core wrapped in this farce is why it sings so beautifully. The amazing thing is the creative team yeah. that's pulled together for this because it's as though every single word in that movie resonated with them so that they were able to write and they only experienced three numbers today. Yeah, yeah. But just hearing what they were able to write is yeah. remarkable. They, they really um, were lucky in that our entire creative team, uh, they're all parents. So we can watch this movie and go, what, what wouldn't I do for my kids? And, you know, our book writer, John O'Farrell, and, and Wayne and Carrie Kirkpatrick, imagining what it would be like. You know, uh, movie aside, you, you, the movie has given us some really iconic moments to blow up into song, right? But they also took moments like, what happens the first time those kids see a picture on the wall that has Dad folded under the back of it? What song is that? What is, that's something that's worth musicalizing, and, and it's the reason this story should be adapted into a musical in 2020. Because a lot of people watch a movie and they go, that movie's perfect, why are you messing with it? Don't mess with it, myself included. You go like, oh God, please don't break this thing I love. And it's not about putting the movie on stage, it's about finding what about this story sings. and. Luckily, this comedy has a has depths that pine to be sung. So, are we are we going to witness something like we do with Santino when he's doing his role, getting into his female? Well, what I will say is that the the um, Daniel is put in insane situations, and what's really fun <laughs> about doing this show on stage is that any time in the movie. Robin Williams ran in the other room and 18 seconds later he came out as Mrs. Doubtfire. We all in the movie know that someone yelled cut and then he went into a trailer for five and a half hours. Here when I leave and 18 seconds later Euphrogenia shows up, the audience is sweating with me. They know, oh my, is he going to make it? Is he going to make it? Here comes the social worker, here comes Miranda, here comes the kids. Is he going to make it? So the stakes are so high. Um, but yeah, the audience is, is certainly let in on that transformation and just how insane. <laughs> Oh, how many uh, dresses are there? Mom? I have a team of four, and we uh, it's uh, I have 31 quick changes, which oh I think God. might be a record. <laughs> I think. But people say, how do you do that? I don't. My dressers do. Thank God. It's like watching the Indy 500. You know, the car pulls in, and they change the tires out. And they go, <laughs> I'm so lucky to have that team. 